What's up Takedown Tribe? And we are back with another Takedown Tuesday challenge. Now last week we gave you our most requested video to date which was donuts. Today we thought that we would do something that absolutely no one has recommended us do whatsoever. Where we will be attempting to eat 15 pounds worth of Philadelphia cream cheese and bagels. Yeah, if all the stupid stuff we've been doing lately doesn't prove the fact that we're a couple of idiots, the fact that out of all things that we could have done today, we've chosen to pick a fight against 22 bagels and 22 containers of Philadelphia cream cheese should do the trick. Now like Pete said, we're looking at 15 pounds worth of food here and a whole lot of lactose, which is what we're thinking is going to be the real challenge here today. Yeah, all that lactose is probably going to become quite nauseating at some point. But we have five different flavors of bagels, five different types of cream cheese present, which we will be pairing together throughout the challenge. But with all that being said, I think it's about that time to kick this thing off. Let's crush some cream cheese. We are into the bagels and cream cheese. Now let's just get this one out of the way to start with. We know we did not toast our bagels, but it is all about strategy over pleasure when it comes to food challenges. That's a lot of cream cheese. <laughs> Onion overload. <laughs> You know, bagel is pretty much every runner's best friend, and so if there's one thing that I'm familiar with, it's a bag of bagels. I remember when I ran my first 50 mile ultra marathon up in Maine here in the USA. Shout out to any Maine subscribers that might be tuning into this video. And I remember bringing like three bags of Thomas's bagels to the game that day and eating every single one of them. I remember that. But something that's a little less familiar to us is cream cheese. That was not a staple of ours growing up. In our house, it was all about the butter. Yeah, it was either butter and jam on our bagels or peanut butter, which we still love to this day. Oh yeah, banger combinations. We've also gotten a lot of requests to do both breakfast style challenges and more savory challenges. And while this probably isn't what you guys were anticipating when making those suggestions, it kind of ticks those boxes to some degree. But don't worry, we totally have plans on both more breakfast style challenges and savory challenges in the future. It just takes time getting to it because we can only do these once a week. Well, that's one flavor down. And honestly, onion bagel is one of my favorite bagels of all time. Definitely my top three. So starting off with an onion bagel and then shive an onion cream cheese was excellent. Yeah, that was an onion bomb and I absolutely loved it. But just to make sure that we smell as absolutely horrible later as we probably are going to, Next up, we were thinking that we would do this garlic cream cheese and we have a cheese bagel to go along with it. Cool. Cream cheese on a cheese bagel was absolutely amazing. Now, fun fact, we were actually vegan for about eight years, and even up until a year ago, we never would have imagined doing this. That cream cheese is like twice as thick as the last one. It's such a great combo though. So I guess at this point, we've done muffins, we've done donuts, we've done Pop-Tarts, and now we're doing bagels. I guess we're just making our way through all of the breakfast foods. We have gotten a lot of requests for things like cereal, pancakes, and waffles. So make sure to drop down in the comments and let us know what type of breakfast food you'd like to see us do next, or just what your favorite breakfast food is in general. Yeah, breakfast items are a lot of fun for us to have on the channel because we actually don't eat breakfast on the day to day. Now we're not super strict intermittent fasters or OMAD dieters, but we do tend to eat all of our calories later in the day and in a small window. There's nothing magical about it, it just works for us. So breakfast isn't a part of our day to day lives, so it is a lot of fun for us. Yeah, especially when you've got really large stomach capacities like ours and it's difficult to feel satiated, eating less frequently and at higher volumes is just ideal. Well, like Nate mentioned, <clears throat> that garlic cream cheese was probably twice as thick as the first one that we had, mm -hmm. but super good. Extremely garlicky. 
which paired really nicely with that cheese bagel. Mm, I love that cheese bagel. All of the bagels that we have here are actually Thomas bagels, but that one, I think that one was Walmart brand, mm -hmm. and they did a great job with it, absolutely loved it. But I know that earlier I mentioned that an onion bagel was in my top three bagels, but I think my number one is a cinnamon raisin. And we're gonna take that down next with a cinnamon brown sugar cream cheese. Holy cow, mm. that's amazing. For all of our fellow cinnamon lovers out there, this was a dream. A cinnamon raisin bagel is a top tier bagel and this cinnamon brown sugar cream cheese may have just become one of our favorite things on the planet. I don't think anything's gonna beat that. Mm -hmm. That's insane. Mm -hmm. a true takedown twins challenge if we didn't feature something sweet on the menu. But I guess something worth mentioning is that we do not skimp on our sodium intake on the day to day because of how much we sweat during our exercises, but we consume virtually no sugar outside of our food challenges, which is why it is a lot of fun for us to feature sweet items in our videos. Yeah, but that doesn't mean we don't have plans for a lot more savory challenges. We've got big plans for things like pizza, burritos, Pringles, a lot of things that you guys have really been wanting to see, but just be understanding with us. It's going to take some time to get to everything. We're we're only able to shoot these things once a week, both because of our health and because of time. And so it's gonna take a little while to get to all your favorite food items, but we will get to them, we promise. Yes, lots of food challenges to come, so fear not. So far, so good. We're three flavors in. I feel like we're cruising so far. Mm. But honestly, until today, I had no idea that cinnamon and brown sugar cream cheese even existed, and then, that just changed my life. That's gonna be a repeat purchase for sure. That with a cinnamon raisin bagel it was unbelievable. I think Pete already said it, but I don't think anything's gonna to top that today. No, that stuff is amazing. I wanna put it on everything. I think I have a new dream of putting that cinnamon <clears throat> cream cheese on pancakes. Ooh, I think that that would be an insane combination. Mm -hmm. But next up, we are going back to savory, which probably will not be nearly as fun after that. But we do have an everything bagel with the garden vegetable cream cheese, which I think sounds pretty awesome. Yeah, I've actually been looking forward to that all day. I guess now would be a good time to remind you all that we are aware that we did not toast our bagels and are anticipating a lot of heat for it, but again, it was strategy over pleasure. I think that's my favorite savory one. I agree with that. Absolutely loved this garden vegetable flavor. Now, garden vegetable is one of our favorite flavors of Ritz crackers, and so maybe sometime we should get the garden vegetable Ritz and the garden vegetable Philadelphia cream cheese and pair those together and see how that is, because I bet that that would be amazing. But make sure to drop down in the comments and let us know what your favorite flavor of cream cheese is. Sorry if you're one of those people who absolutely loves the fruit ones and we didn't have them in the challenge. Honestly, we've tried the strawberry, the blueberry, and the pineapple on separate occasions, and none of them were our thing. Yeah, we definitely made sure to steer clear of those, which is funny because for two people who absolutely love fruit, the fruit flavored cream cheese, not our speed. But that would actually be a really fun food challenge to do sometime where we see how many calories or how many pieces of fruit we can eat in a single sitting. I've seen some other people do that on YouTube and it could be a lot of fun to see how we hold up. Yeah, I'm pretty curious to see how much fruit we could put back in one shot. I remember I used to work at a Whole Foods and had a friend who would sit in the break room and eat like 10 bananas in one shot. And I always thought that was really funny. And so I'd probably get a good kick out of trying that challenge. Let's do it sometime. You can't go wrong with an everything bagel. Mm -hmm. And the garden vegetable cream cheese, excellent. But that last container is where I started to find the cream cheese texture or the lactose, I don't know what it was, to start feeling quite off-putting. Yeah, it's not too bad for me yet, but to be honest, 
Up until today, we haven't actually eaten that much cream cheese. This is the first time we've had most of these flavors. <laughs> and so we didn't really know what to expect with this whole thing, but the texture and the flavor is definitely getting a little off-putting at this point. Not as fun as it once was, but honestly, not nearly as bad as donuts was at this point. <laughs> that one got pretty difficult. But next up, we've got our fruit and nuts option, I guess. <laughs> we've got a blueberry bagel, and then we've got, what is it? It's, I think it's a honey pecan. Mm -hmm. Cool, that's gonna be our first time trying that one. We'll let you know what we think. That's nice. <laughs> blueberry cream cheese may not be our thing, but we absolutely love blueberry bagels. And they're extremely nostalgic for us because growing up it was blueberry bagels toasted with an ungodly amount of butter. But we used to put so much butter on everything when we were kids. Yeah, when we were younger, it was always the toasted blueberry bagel with way too much butter or that cinnamon crunch one from Panera. I think that's what it's called at least. When we were younger, we used to go to Panera all the time. Each of us would order like three of those cinnamon crunch bagels. We'd ask for like 20 butters and we'd just sit there and have a great time. It's so funny for us to look back on pictures of when we were kids because a lot of people confuse our discipline around our daily diets and physical activity as having fast metabolisms, but that's actually extremely far from the truth. We were chubby kids, and that actually would be another really fun food challenge to do at some point. I know I've seen both Eric the Electric and Beard Meets Food do food challenges based around their childhood diets, and if we did one of those, things could get pretty gnarly. That would probably be pretty wild. We'll definitely have to make sure to bring pictures when we do that food challenge. Yes, but all of that to say, Blueberry bagels, absolute 10 out of 10, and this honey pecan cream cheese was excellent. I think that blueberry bagel just saved the day. Mm -hmm. That little bit of fruity brightness absolutely just kind of reset things. Mm. Uh, kind of took all the heaviness off from the rest of the meal. Mm -hmm. That's not saying much. It's still a lot of cream cheese. Still quite off-putting at this point, but we only have one container left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one container left. I think we've got, yeah, we've got one more cinnamon and brown sugar, and then we've got another cinnamon raisin bagel. Yeah. I'm excited about. But shout out to Dave Richardson. He's our good friend. He just posted a 10,000 calorie all fruity cheat meal on his on his channel. And that's what encouraged us to get the blueberry. He had things like blueberry mini wheats and blueberry toaster uh, muffin toasters, uh, all cereal. And we absolutely love blueberry, so he totally triggered us. So thanks, Dave. But I do not want any more cream cheese. Yeah. It's starting, like you said, it's starting to get a bit off-putting. We've only got this one left. Let's try to see if we can muscle through. Let's do it. Finishing off with this double cinnamon combo definitely ended up being a great move strategically because at this point in the challenge, the flavor and texture of cream cheese was definitely a bit nauseating and quite off-putting, so I imagine that if it had been one of the savory flavors, things may not have gone as well as they did. Yeah, this was definitely the ideal way to end the challenge. I'm very happy that we had enough forethought to actually leave this flavor for the end. But anyways, you guys are probably getting sick of hearing us talking and we are on our last bagel. So hopefully you guys enjoyed something that we talked about today. Thanks for tuning in and we will catch you in the outro. Wow. That last container wanted to put up a fight. It didn't want to go down, but Luckily, it was that cinnamon and brown sugar flavor with the cinnamon raisin bagel. I think if it had been any other flavor, especially one of the savory flavors, that would have been a lot more difficult and would not have gotten down. Yeah. Like you said, I think it was because it was that flavor that made finishing that challenge manageable. Overall, a success though. Mm -hmm. And at least now we know that we're capable of eating that much cream cheese and bagels. Mm. What a ridiculous challenge. <laughs> well, hopefully somebody out there enjoyed it. 
If you did, you give it a like. If you like bagels and cream cheese, jump in the comment section, say what's up. Try not to give us too much heat for not toasting our bagels. <laughs> We're kind of anticipating that one. Make sure to become part of the Takedown Tribe by subscribing to the channel. And we will be back next week, maybe with one of our more frequently requested videos rather than this. That'd probably be a good idea. <laughs> Anyways, you guys are awesome. See you next week.